Here's Smith. More oh, lined up. Kieran Reid by Tom Ward. Cries of hitting from the England players. In general, it's important to start any game well. You know, you always want to get that ascendancy early on. You want to plant it in the referee's mind that you are the dominant team. Therefore, more penalties will perhaps go your way. You know, there's no better way of setting the tone than with a big tackle. As a back row player, it's always a focus of, of ours, um, trying to get that early hit in and give you an opportunity for possible turnover as well, which are obviously big parts of back row play. So I'm trying to tackle low so the guy hits the ground quickly, um, particularly on big men. If you don't take them low, they'll leg drive through contact. They'll perhaps get a hand off in and uh, there's always potential that they'll get the ball away. Slightly higher hit because he's a bit more static. So um, tackling somebody really low in that, in that situation um, is difficult because he doesn't have any momentum. Sometimes tackling someone low is better when they've got momentum. The Kieran Reid example there against the All Blacks, once again pretty similar to the Tamani. Uh, I'm slightly in his blind spot so I come in and try and spot him as he catches the ball, hoping to force an error or if not just um, you know, make a good low tackle so my, my team can reset the defensive line and perhaps give someone an eye to the ball for a shot. You know, I'm not trying to necessarily pick somebody up and drive them backwards or, uh, or you know, do a horizontal Courtney Laws S tackle. I'm just trying to chop them low, uh, make a good solid tackle so that the guys around me can compete for the ball and, and reset the defensive line. You know, if you know somebody's capable of a good offload and holding their feet, then you perhaps adjust your tackle technique. Uh, if you know it's a, it's a forward, um, perhaps a, a big prop that's not renowned for his handling skills or wet conditions, then you can, you can take that little bit of extra line speed because it's unlikely he's going to be able to just give quick hands or do something particularly intricate. Um, so you take into account the weather conditions, the speed of the ball, and you know, is he on the front foot running onto it? Uh, who's around you? Have you got numbers that you can just race out the line and go and put pressure on somebody? Or are you in a lot of space and therefore have to perhaps give a little bit of ground and buy some time? For, for your support to get with you. I consider myself quite a safe tackler. I'm not necessarily the biggest hitter out there. Um, I try and put some, some venom into my tackles when I can, but um, you know, I pride myself on not really missing many. Um, you know, a missed tackle doesn't sit well with me. There's various circumstances where a missed tackle is okay. Here with England, if you're going forward, if you're racing off the line and somebody steps you because you're going with so much energy and, and putting so much pressure on them, that they step you but get hit by somebody else, that's okay because collectively you're putting an awful lot of pressure on them. You know, if you're missing tackles going backwards and, and adjusting and getting sidestepped and or, or bumped off in the tackle, you know, that's unacceptable, it's particularly if you're gonna wear number six on your back.